In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this this uh, divide by zero error that comes up whenever you try to divide by zero. So you see we have 9 divided by 0, 6 divided by 8 gives us an answer, 8 divided by 0, you get the alert, 98 divided by 0, there it is, and these two rows divided by 0. So one pretty easy way to get rid of this alarm is to create a conditional format for the whole column here. So to do that, I could be in the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting. Uh, I have to find it. Let me go to More Rules. Format cells that contain errors. Here it is. So to make the this text go away, if there's an error, well, I don't want it to be red, that's for sure. So I'm going to do a custom format to make the text white. And then I'll get that error to disappear. There it is. So that's one way. That's probably one of the easiest ways. Uh, so let me take that back. And so using a formula most common formula for me is using the if error formula. So the if error formula is saying, okay, so if this ends up in an error, if E6 divided by F6 ends up in an error, what do I want to show in the cell? Well, I could just do a two quotes, which means nothing, or I could put something in between the quotes, uh, like error. Uh, I really just don't want anything to show up so I'll just put two quotes. My error disappears. I can go ahead and drag that formula down and my uh, divide by zero errors are gone. Let me take that back. Another way uh, so before before the if error before uh, before Excel 2007, we didn't have the if error function. So we had to use if with is error. So if you have an older version of Excel, this is this is what you would use. So if if is error the result of E6 divided by F6 so if that's true then I just want to have my my two quotes which is gonna have nothing appear and if it's false then I'll just have E6 divided by F6 go. So that is if you're if you have an older version of Excel this should work because you're not going to have that I'm sure you'll have the conditional formatting but if you needed to use it in a formula you'd have to use that if statement along with the is error statement. So one more way one more mo way we could do this is to focus we could put a formula in that focuses on the zero instead of the result of the division. So to do that, uh, we could say if this cell equals zero, then we'll just have nothing and it show up in a cell and if not then we'll just do the regular calculation it's almost like you're looking ahead of time and checking out this column first 
So let's make sure that works. There we go. So yeah, there's probably 10 different ways you can do this. So I guess depending on your situation, you got to look for the best way. You might want to use the conditional formatting method, but if you really can't have that error in there, you're going to want to use a formula to display some other type of result, whether it's quotes or, I mean, maybe you just want to have a zero. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Y'all have a nice day.